All right, well, this is a follow-up. I wanted to uh, scroll through this sequence uh, one frame at a time. Uh, this area right here, this is a thunderstorm system that's being uh, superheated with microwave and blown apart. I'm just going to, uh, right here is where we're looking, one frame at a time. You see the blast pattern develop as we scroll through. Right here is where it's been hit, right dead center. You can see the uh, superheated water vapor starting to uh, blow out of the side of that uh, thunderstorm right here and over here. You can see the center imploding. Right here is where they hit it. And over here, we have the uh, day to night transition coming up right over here. But, uh, right here, they, they actually hit this in two spots. Once here and once here, and then we have the uh, the night transition, and we see the blast pattern, shock wave here, shock wave over here, and what we're seeing here is very similar to what was captured down in Costa Rica last, I think it was uh, July of 2015, July or August of 2015. Let's take a quick look at uh, what this uh, girl found she took a, some pictures uh, she was using a cell phone camera which doesn't have very good uh, low light capability this was done in the late afternoon and of course this was very bright because the sun was was uh, sort of behind these clouds this these were thunderheads developing and what we're seeing here is a superheating process we have a, a blast wave a blast ring right here that is starting to shoot out side of this giant thunderhead which is being superheated now the sun is creating this bright light it's behind it's uh, late in the afternoon it's shining from sort of the back side of this a uh, cloud uh, a bank of clouds but the main thing to look at here is this blast ring this is what we're looking at so this was targeted uh and everybody on the ground you can find this uh video on the internet it's not too hard to find just go on to youtube and, and uh, look up a uh, costa rican uh rainbow cloud there's there's a specific name they call these kind of clouds uh this has been superheated uh, the people that uh, categorize these clouds on the internet uh, don't call them uh, you know superheated clouds there's some other name but the point is here that we're looking at some rainbow colors we're wondering people wonder well what what, what is the rainbow color well that's the uh microscopic water vapor shooting out and uh, diffracting because of the uh, the sun is uh, shining through this water vapor and that creates a rainbow. Now, there were some people, uh, some scientists that tried to explain uh, what was going on here and they didn't they didn't tell us the truth. The truth of the matter is is that this is a a very good a very good evidence of what happens uh when when the thunderhead is superheated. So, this is exactly what's happening right uh, south of Arizona and New Mexico. They've uh, superheated this thunderstorm, which would uh, cause a lot of rain and wild weather. And uh, so that's what it looks like. And, and we see this happening over Southern California today. Uh, they do this typically over the mountains where there's not a lot of people watching. Uh, but uh, let's go back again real quick and uh, take a look at the uh, that sequence one more time. And see what happens right here big giant thunderstorm system there it is all right that's it just a supplementary uh, video showing that detail all right that's it